Okay, everybody, listen, I've got this little video here to show you about Affinity Designer. I know teachers uh, use Canva and other programs, but this one, Affinity Designer, is really fun, easy to use. I'm going to show you how I took my friend's, uh, my friend's paper here for his fourth grade class, and I just kind of took it, and once Canva gets it, it pretty much converts it uh, so you can take the elements from the, the page and mix them up and rearrange and change font, change color pretty much immediately. So here I made a portrait and now I'm going to drag the document in there and just kind of set it up there. Okay, now I have here, uh, just for start up that little two in the corner. Let's change that color of that. Okay, now that's opening up the program. It's allowing me to make changes here. So there's my color, my two. So I can make it green, I can make it whatever color I want. And I'm going to kind of transform this page and just kind of make it, just just make some changes, make it easy to show you how easy it is to add and move around things, change color, um, and what you can do to make something go pretty quickly um, and just make it work like that. So you, you're moving pretty quickly. I think I spent a total of uh, about 15 minutes kind of brushing this up. And so here we go. I'll speed it up a little bit right here. You can see me moving it along. So we can add so many more things, uh, pictures, shapes, uh, we can add text boxes. There's there are pen tools. There are brushes and brush tools. Uh, there's different effects you can add. Uh, color layers, for example. And basically, in Affinity Designer, you have unlimited custom designs at your disposal, including pulling in whole you know all pros boxes and changing fonts immediately and changing the colors of the lettering and everything. So it has that much flexibility. I do recommend it. And uh, let's just finish up this little fun multiplication page. Okay, so I'm just kind of moving along here. I've got twice the speed of what I was doing before as far as the video moving forward. Um, you can see that here. So also what's happening is, um, you know, I've got those four corner colors there. I'm just kind of sprucing up, make it kind of fun. And here I'm going to change the font of this one here. And you can just see how easy that is to do in Affinity Designer. So I'll drag that character box over and you can take, you can see how I do that. Here it is. Okay, so I just drag this down here, and I can you can see the font changing as I move through it. Like, which one am I going to put on? That could look cool, that one there, but I don't know. It just doesn't really matter. I'm just going to finish the video here. Like, that one there, is that fancy? Is that cool? Up to you. There's, you know, 100 or 200 fonts. You could add fonts to the program. There's a lot of flexibility here. Uh, just took my friend's paper and going to get you a final version of it here coming up in a second so you can just see what that looks like. All right. And so there it is, pretty much done. And here's a final version of it here. And there it is. All right, it took about 15 minutes, like I said. And I hope you have fun with it. Okay, bye.